G'day guys, Skylar Stardrift here. I'm just a dragon that plays video games. Welcome back to Super Mario All-Stars Super Mario Brothers. In the last episode, we managed to get quite a ways into World 8-3. And whilst I'm not particularly confident, it's a lot better than it was the last time I tried to record World 8. <laughs> In this episode, more World 8. Continue, let's start drifting. And I think that I am just going to keep recording now until I actually beat World 8. So there may be a few jump cuts here and there. I mean, I'll probably keep the first game over on camera, but then after that, there'll probably be... Whoa. <laughs> a few jump cuts here and there at various places. But all with the goal of beating World 8. And I will keep the most successful run where we actually... If we make progress by beating World 8-3, or if we actually do beat the game, I will keep that as a full run. So you can see any fails that happen along the way. But apart from that, I don't know where this episode is going to go. <laughs> I'm not feeling particularly confident, but... I just recorded episode 9, so I'm feeling a lot more confident than I was previously. I was not ready to press the jump button. <laughs> there. There we go. World 8-1, that's out of the way. I'm getting good with World 8-1 at least. Touch wood. And if you can't touch wood, you touch your head. And yes, I legitimately just leaned over and touched the coffee table to my right. Because <laughs> that's made of wood. <laughs> Yikes. It's a good thing Spiny's walk really slowly. <laughs> okay. One up. Wait for the bullet bill to fire twice. I'm pretty sure bullet bill... Cannons are called Bullet Bill Blasters, I think. I'm gonna have to look that up. Shazam! I mean, Bullet Bill Blasters definitely make sense. I've not seen that top one fire today whatsoever. Whoa. <laughs> Excuse me, you're gonna get in the way and stuff up my jump. Oh, I just made that. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm surprised I haven't taken a hit, but then I decided against saying it so that I could keep it for the Hammer Brothers, but as soon as I thought that, the game decided, oh, right, better take that away from you. <laughs> no privilege. Because, <laughs> man, that firepower would be so useful for taking out those Hammer Brothers. And the game gives me a lot of time in that level, so it would be m greatly beneficial. But, this isn't New Super Mario Brothers, the game isn't that nice. <laughs> right, you can go up, you can go down, you are gonna go there, cool. Pull back, pull back! Okay. It's at that point where I want to be very careful with my jumps <laughs> and not take too many risks. If that piranha plant wasn't there, I would have been able to jump on the pipe, but the piranha plant was there <laughs> and it just caused one big fat honking issue. <laughs> Takes care of you. Maybe it's only because I'm standing directly underneath them and that's why they're phasing through the platform to try to get to me. I have not got the mushroom. Crap. I mean, to be fair, this could be entirely beneficial. <laughs> oh no! Haha! -ha! Uh-oh. I saw an opportunity. 
And once again, I took it. And once again, it did not pay off. Bit of progress, though. We actually got to the second set of those ground Hammer Brothers that aren't on, like, a set of blocks. Because that's the thing, like, up until this point, the Hammer Brothers have been, like, up here. On these blocks. So it's been easy to defeat them, but... Huh! Well, excuse me. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Damn, I wish there was a power up here. <laughs> that would be so beneficial if there was. He jumped over it, man! <laughs> ah! <laughs> he killed me with the first hammer. <laughs> Drat. He jumped over the Cooper shell, but thank goodness he stopped throwing his hammers when he did. <laughs> That bullet bill did not fire this time. Hi! Get out of here. Okay. Grab the mushroom, pull back on the jump. Be very careful. <laughs> Excuse me. Doink! Oh, come off! That's not fair if you're both down on the ground. How am I supposed to avoid you guys if you're both down on the ground like that? Come on. Boy, this game is not gonna go down without a fight, is it? Whoop. Ah. Come on, I need both of you to get up. There was no point. <laughs> There was no point in even trying. If both Hammer Brothers are on the ground, you're basically stuffed until one of them moves. And even then, like, they may just jump back down again. That's why you gotta try to catch them when they're up the top. Okay. Whoops. He's gonna jump down. Managed to kill you both this time. He jumped over it. He jumped over it way too soon for me to counteract. <laughs> God damn it. Back to the start. Okay. Ouch! Okay. Let's go again. I think I've decided that. If I get down to three lives on this level, on this level, I'm just gonna scrap them, and I'm just gonna... Like now, for example, I'm just gonna scrap them, start again. I'm gonna need as many lives as I can get. So, we're just gonna get a game over, and we're gonna try again. Because I don't think hitting save and quit gives me the five lives. I think it just saves as many lives as we've got, so... I can't even beat World 8-1 anymore. It's that bad. I thought I was getting better, and I'm not, so... We could be here for a very long time. I think. What? <laughs> Not too sure what happened there, that was questionable. I think that Koopa Trooper shell just hit me when it flew backwards. Blah! Let's find out what happens if I do hit save and quit. I'm just go back to the title screen. I mean, it's gonna have the same result, I guess, when I get to... Yeah, <laughs> that was a completely pointless exercise because it had the exact same result because I had a game over. <laughs> when I get down to three lives, though, I'm going to test it. 
Well, if I get to three lives in this level again, I'm gonna test that theory. Just relax, everything's under control. Except for running into the back of that Koopa Trooper shell. Why can't I even beat this level anymore? I started off so well, and now it's just gone. All my skill has just gone out the window. Which is where this game is going to go in a minute. <laughs> I've said it once and I will say it again. Once I get to the lost levels, it's gonna be a nightmare. All right, let's see what happens if I hit save and quit. Do I get all my lives back or do I just get three lives? No, I only get the three lives, wow. So it does keep your lives, but that's not helpful at all. Ooh. Okay. Hey, I want that one up, please. I guess Mario doesn't, though. Mario, you didn't even try to jump there. That was your own stupid oh! fault. We are 30 minutes into the recording now, and we've made dick all progress. In fact, it took me 30 minutes just to get up to World 8-3, so... Or Level 8-3, so... That's pretty darn terrible. He jumped down. <laughs> I am taking this game to a retro store and I'm just saying, take this abomination away from me. Because <laughs> I am so over it right now. Okay. Ooh, that's very scary. I almost slid off that first pipe. <laughs> that would have been bad on so many levels. Hip, hip, hoopla. Nothing to avoid. Some really crummy stairs. <laughs> okay. I forget what the criteria is for spawning fireworks as well. I mean, we got them there. <laughs> I just know that fireworks are a thing, and it's got to do with something... I think it's got to do with either the time, or the coins, or maybe even both. Might even have something to do with your score. That was close. <laughs> okay. Where was the speed, Mario? You fat turd. Jeez. There's no speed there. I knew this game was going to make me rant and rave, but I did carry on quite a bit drastically last time, so... I'm a little more tame this time around, as I said before in Episode 9, but it's really trying my patience at this point, and I'm thinking of just putting the controller down and starting up a brand new Let's Play instead, <laughs> to be honest. Whoa, okay. Right. Haha! -ha! I love it when a plan comes together and you jump on a paratrooper at just the right moment for him to dive into a pit. That bullet bill's gonna fire in a minute. Yes, it did. Now it's. Whoa! Three enemies to avoid, man. I was not. Ready. 
Okay. Trouble is, like, apart from the movement of the Koopa Troopers and Goombas, this game is... Com and the Piranha Plants, this game is entirely unpredictable. You don't know when a Bullet Bill's gonna fire. You don't know when that... Hammer Brother is gonna move. Or, more importantly, where it's gonna move to. And half the time, you don't even know if you're gonna grab that power up or not. I mean, I was fine there, but. <laughs> right, that paratrooper needs to die. Okay. Ah! I jump so I can avoid the other guy that I've just killed, but it doesn't work out. If I could just get the mushroom in this level and then keep it and get the fire flower on the next level, it would be good. But the problem is getting the fire flower in the next level because it's near the Hammer Brothers and I destroy the blocks <laughs> when I get to that point. So I guess that bullet bill is not coming. <laughs> See, like if I miss, the Hammer Brothers are just going to follow me down the holes. So, I would need to be deadly accurate with the mushroom, as we've seen previously. So, this is both a blessing and a curse. It gives me an extra hit, but it also makes dealing with the Hammer Brothers that slight tad harder than what they already are, and they're very difficult as it is. Just like it! Just like it! Stick with it! Stick with it. Okay. Keep this hit for as long as you can, Mario. That's not keeping it. Just book it! Is that a power-up? No. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> it looks like I got there, and then Mario just gave up entirely and was like, nah, I don't want to try. <laughs> I think that was the end of the level, too. Damn. We got close. Stay out of the way of the Hammer Brother, because then he might jump down to that lure, and then we can kill him. Yay. The position of the Hammer Brothers on that second round there was perfect. I was able to avoid them very easily, but something tells me it's not going to be the same way. Or, or we could get extremely freaking lucky two times in a row. Damn, I thought that shell was going to come back and hit that guy. Ah, <laughs> uh, he touched me. He got a little close. Okay. That's it. Progress has been made. 8-4, here we come. And I have no idea where to go. <laughs> Ah, crap. <laughs> Alright, no, we're gonna save. Hold on. I'm looking this up. I'm not even chancing this anymore. I need to know where to go. We'll be right back. After these very important, very required messages. <laughs> I'm not chancing this. This is the one shot I'm gonna get, so... Okay, we'll just take it nice and slow, jump over that. Also, love the lightning in the background. It really adds to the atmosphere. Okay. Now, the thing with this Bowser's Castle is that there's multiple paths, but I think there's only one correct path. Anyway, we need to go down this pipe. So, let's go down this pipe. Alright, I know where to go. <laughs> Like I said, I really don't want to chance this, and I'm sorry if it looks stupid me looking up a walkthrough for this, but at this point, I really don't want to risk it. I have all the lives in the world, and I'm not risking it. Right, so we need to go up this way. Done. Okay. 
on to the next room. <laughs> also, I love how the background has changed. We've now got fires instead of windows with lightning. Oh no, never mind. Right, so this is the pipe we need. That Bowser statue looks very ominous, and now we're underwater. Okay, so there's only one pipe underwater. And that's the exit pipe. But, <laughs> there's bloopers. You know, my worst nightmare underwater. And there's fire bars because, you know, science is not a thing that is considered in the Mario world. Should have said Mushroom Kingdom, but I didn't. Okay. <laughs> this is it, guys. Just this hammer, brother. Woohoo! Go now! Yes! Whoa! Take that! You stupid son of a gun! Ha ha! Thank god I looked up the walkthrough there, because otherwise I would not have made that! <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Mario! The kingdom is saved! Now try a more difficult quest. We're out of here! Uh... Save and quit. That's it! Thank God. Oh, that was not fun. <laughs> um, I am not going to be doing the second quest. The second quest is a harder Mushroom Kingdom with some of the enemies swapped out with um, Goombas and stuff like that. So it's like a Star World now. It's a Star World 1. But we are not going to be doing that. No way. We beat the game. That's as far as it goes. In the next episode... We will be tackling, or starting, Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. We'll see you guys on the flop side. Catch you then, and thanks for watching. And I also can't believe how lucky I got with Bowser there. I saw his hammers and I was like, this is all over. It wasn't over. He took a quick break, didn't jump, didn't throw a fireball, didn't throw more hammers, and I just slipped through. <laughs> Ugh.